Welcome to UNV Academy. In this episode, we are going to talk about network settings of NVR. We will introduce you. Basic settings. Platform. Advanced settings. Let's get started. The first part is basic settings. There are several ways to allocate IP address for the device. DHCP is enabled by default and the device will automatically obtain an IP address from the DHCP server. You can also manually enter the IP address here. NVR allows accessing from the cloud website or mobile surveillance app. You need to sign up a cloud account first, then log into the server address, and then enter the register code to add this NVR to the cloud account. You can also use EasyView app on the phone and scan the QR code below to add the device. If your NVR is connected to the internet through PPPoE, the IP address of the network may change every time it connects to the ISP server. This is inconvenient when you remotely access to your NVR with an IP address. To avoid this problem, you can register with a DDNS server to obtain a domain name for your NVR and then access to your NVR by visiting the domain name instead of its IP address. If you want to receive alarm notification with email, enable email function. Before using this function, make sure the NVR has connected to an SMTP server with which you have a valid email account and then configure the related parameters. You may click test to check whether the email can be sent successfully. The second part, platform, SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol. A protocol used to realize unified management of equipment. Video and image database is mainly for license plate data transmission such as uploading the captured license plate's images to the NVR. Advanced Settings NVR allows accessing through point-to-point -point over Ethernet. You have to enter the username and password provided by your internet server provider. Normally there is no need to modify default port numbers. HTTP port is login port. HTTPS port is encrypted login port. And RTSP port is live streaming port. Changing these ports may affect client's application connected to the NVR. We recommend not to modify these ports unless necessary. Here we provide you two port mapping methods. Universal plug and play, UPnP, and manual. If your router supports UPnP, you are free to go with both of these methods. If auto is set, the NVR and the router will configure available ports and be mapped automatically. Then clients outside the lawn will be able to access to your NVR. You can also manually configure ports by selecting manual under UPnP. If your router does not support UPnP, then you need to configure internal and external ports manually from both the NVR and the router sides. The principle of port mapping is that the internal and external ports of the NVR are consistent with that of the router. When multiple clients want to watch the same live view, NVR can send multicast stream to the switch. Then the switch will send live view stream to each client. For FTP, it's another way for us to receive alarm snapshots and information. We can use this function to automatically upload snapshots to a pre-configured FTP server. This allows you to view the alarm snapshots captured by the device. That's all for today's learning. Hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.